Uh, good morning, my name is Jessica, um, and today we're gonna be talking about shave versus punch biopsies. We do a lot of biopsies here at Contour Dermatology. It's one of the most important things that you can do in dermatology because um, they help us diagnose different skin conditions and diseases. Um, it's essential. Uh, a lot of things look the same or um, it could be suspicious, not suspicious, but the patient's worried about it and we wanna take it off and send it to the lab just to be 100% sure. Um, it can be indicated for rashes or blisters, moles, pigmented or atypical lesions and it distinguishes between different types of rashes or skin lesions and confirms skin cancers. It's one of the most important. There are some risks to skin biopsies. Of course, any time that you um, are cutting into the skin, there's going to be risks of bleeding, bruising, possible scarring, infection, uh, sometimes possible allergic reaction to the anesthetic that we use or delayed healing, uh, especially on the lower legs, uh, punch or shave biopsies can cause little ulcers that are difficult to heal. So shave biopsy uh, is used for lesions that are predominantly uh, epidermal without extension into the dermis. These are things on the top of the skin that we just need a thin layer of. Example of these can be warts, superficial lesions, skin cancers, or moles. It removes just a thin layer of the tissue uh, and yields a flat, thin specimen. Uh, this is superficial. As you can see in this slide, using a razor, um, they just take a little slice of the top of the skin of the suspicious lesion. This is just a good demonstration of the skin. There's a suspicious lesion, taking just the top piece, and then you can see there's just kind of a little indent in the skin. Now, punch biopsy does go deeper. Uh, it's used for lesions that require dermal or subcutaneous tissue for diagnosis. Uh, also for flat lesions where you can't necessarily just take the top layer of the skin. It's really good for rashes, inflammatory lesions, the scalp, and some pigmented lesions. So we use a circular blade. Uh, these are the different sizes. It takes a small round core of tissue ranging from two millimeters to six millimeters. Uh, most commonly we would use three or four. It allows for a full thickness view when they are at the lab and it does require suturing. So this one has a little bit more of an aftercare. Limitation, it may not provide a wide enough sample. So sometimes, let's say if there's a rash in a few different locations, we could take a few different samples. And then this is just a demonstration or a illustration of the punch biopsy. As you can see, it goes down into the subcutaneous tissue um, and the little circular instrument it goes down, you twist, you pull out and the little um, piece of tissue that you need comes right out. Um, so for aftercare, it's fairly simple. Um, you wanna keep the dressing dry and intact for 24 hours, cleanse with mild soap and water. You wanna keep it clean, pat dry, don't rub it, cause that can irritate the skin and the lesion. Uh, apply polysporin, Vaseline, you wanna keep it moist um, and then cover with a Band-Aid. You don't want anything to get into it, which can cause infection. If bleeding is noted, this is important for anyone who picks up a phone call and someone's had a biopsy. If they're bleeding, they don't know what to do, you wanna hold pressure on it for about 15 minutes. If it still doesn't stop, then they should come in and we should see them. Um, no blood thinning medications for pain, because uh, this can just make them bleed more. Of course, if they have to, that, that's fine, but Tylenol is always the best choice. Uh, if there are sutures, depending on the location, they will return in one to two weeks for suture removal. And then healing can take several weeks to months. And then, like I said earlier, wounds on the lower legs and feet, those can take longer to heal. A lot of patients have questions about this. You know, why is it taking so long? It is further away from the heart, uh, worse blood circulation down in the legs. So that's why it tends to heal slower. And there's your little test. <laughs> 